what's up guys this is Jay um, coming to you with another video this will be my uh, GTO review uh, two-year review so if this is your first time around this is your first visit to my channel um, and you're kind of wondering what this channel is about um, so most of my most of my videos are cars car reviews car shows car meets uh, and real estate which I've started about a year ago so um, which is how to start your own business which I've done um, how to buy real estate uh, ways to finance it um, to sell it the cost uh, how much how much does it go um, you know what, what it goes into fixing up the place the steps um, so I, I give hopefully helpful helpful reviews on those but so if if you kind of go through them check them out uh, go to the previous videos and then again if you like what you see please um, I would love to you to subscribe to the channel uh, hit the notice so you don't miss any upcoming videos but so going back to this video guys so if you know sorry um, I bought this car back in October of 2016 as a 2017 model um, and I was literally one of the first if not the first guy in Kansas City to buy it um, so mine is a um, it's a red solid red color uh, this also is the same color of the GTR that I had my first GTR which was a 2010 so um, I also wanted to share this I don't think I've did this on my first video when I first bought it so when I bought it I made sure I keep all the documents um, including the actual dealer sticker so as you see um, I laminated it so it doesn't get torn up and everything so I take this um, to shows to kind of see so people see you know what a car like this costs uh, and then so you guys can see it as well so the MSRP on this one was 111 um, 880 um, so as you see it's a 2017 premium um, it's a standard option so it's not a black edition or track edition um, um, so it does have the carpeted GTR logo floor mats which was an option apparently um, which was 295 and then destination charge of $1,600 um, so the base MSRP was right at 1999 um, so I kept that um, so so as I said I bought it in October 2016 um, now it's November 2018 so two-year review uh, what so I know you probably have seen some other ones so I, I would like to make my own and I'll show you guys what what I like what I don't like about this 2017 um, also taking into consideration I have owned like a 2010 and the 2013 so pretty much every iteration up until the 2017 model so I hope you get some info uh, valuable info on this and kind of insight of what 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 is the difference so I'm gonna go through the what I like and then don't like on the exterior same thing with the interior and then performance um, so those are the, gonna be the three aspects that I'm gonna focus on so I hope um, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started so before I start guys um, this car has I don't know why I can't see that right about right under 3100 miles for two years driving so it is pretty um, well taken care of car so um, I don't I don't drive it as much uh, like I said, I go to car shows, car meets, mostly in the summer. In the winter, it stays in storage. So, um, that's where it is right now. But, so I just wanted to share it with you guys um, the actual mileage on this car. So, for the 2017, guys, um, the GTR um, has gotten a face uplift compared to the CBA and the DBA. Um, so, that is one thing I do like about this new about the 2017 remodel it is a lot more aggressive um, the lines uh, on the hood so they added the hood the hood is a lot more aggressive 
compared to the CBA and the DBA. Um, the wheels, I really like the black wheels, the multi-spoke ones compared to the, um, the, the DBA, which I didn't really like. And the CBA I did and I found out they are pretty much the same thing as on the 370. I like is these loafers, they color match them. Uh, the previous models, they were just gray on their own. So it didn't match anything. Um, so that is what I like on the exterior. The one thing I don't like is this front grill right there. Um, one, the reason why I don't like it, I think, is they um, they had to make it a lot more because they had to. Add, I think they had to add horsepower to it, guys. So they had to open it up to get more airflow into the um, to the ray to the to get more in. So and so it it kind of sacrificed it make it more square so the car itself doesn't look like it's sitting lower than the the cba or the dba but um so that's 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 the only thing i don't like on the exterior so so the next thing i want to do is go into the interior so again i'm going to start with the stuff i like um so this so the center console was redone and which i really like so it's it, there's a lot less buttons um it's it's not as busy i know in the cba and dba where this kind of screen was you had another screen um, another panel with about five buttons all these buttons kind of got moved down here so you only have two uh, for the climate control this center console it used to be on the CBA it used to be like a plastic um, silverish and then it kind of turned to gunmetal on the DBA and for the 2017 they went with this carbon fiber which I really like especially for a car being about six figures um, it, it kind of gives it a higher up so this is kind of the only thing I like on the interior of the 2017 um, things I don't like um, I, th I think it's going to be a completely opposite of what I like on the exterior the the comments I mean the, the commentary uh, because it's it, yeah it's how much I like the exterior is how much I dislike the interior <laughs> so going back to the center stack um, the the I like the center um, I know I kind of said um, the interior is it, it's less busy the only thing I don't like is when I had my uh, when I got out my first I went to the first service and they gave me a Maxima 2 as a loaner for a couple of days until they serviced the GTR for the first year service found out this center is the same as in the GTR which is kind of I really don't like um, the reason why I don't like it is on the G CBA and DBA the center was its own I don't think any other car had that center console um, it was only G it was GTR. So now them going to this, um, it, it kind of makes it more of a general. It's not more GTR, um, which I kind of like said. For this price, I would kind of like to have my own stung not not to see the less lesser cars or lesser price cars. Um, so that that's kind of one thing I don't like. Um, another thing I don't like is the paddle shifters guys um, some people like them some people don't um, if I don't know if you guys want to let me know what you guys think um, so for 2017 they went with uh, they put the paddle shifters onto the steering wheel so if you move the steering ship I mean the steering wheel the shifter the paddle shifters move with it on the CBA and the DBA, it was attached to the center, um, the center stack. I call it. So it was it was always straight. It does it, it wasn't it was independent of the wheel. Now it's dependent on the wheel. That is one thing I don't like because I don't I don't track this car much. I mean I go to car shows, I go to meets, so it's in a normal. You know, drive it 
in regular condition guys and on the streets just like most probably most of us guys do so it having really taking having to take a 90 degree corner um, you know as you see where the plus shifter winds up so if I put my hand I mean this is how I'm gonna have to shift so and then if I have to make more than one turn I kind of get lost of you know which which one is which uh, especially if I have to turn it upside down so that is one thing I kind of don't like um, about it another thing I don't like is these vents um, I know they're supposed to look like a the, um, the you know aviation type thing but I just don't like the materials guys this is like the CBA and the DBA material for the center console which is the same thing as here um, so they left that but they also then they turn and made these so to me it just and they still left all these so it's it's just a carryover for 2017 um, which I really don't like like I said to me I, I don't like plastic pieces especially in a six-figure car you know I don't know you could have made it aluminum something maybe put some texture on it or something to match um, you know the IP some, something in that regards I don't know but that that is one one thing I another thing I kind of don't like on the interior so um, one more thing I would like to um, say is I don't kind of like is these the seats uh, me being six foot six these bolsters after about 30 minutes of driving um, they kind of start hurting on the back so I can go maybe for an hour and straight drive and then I have to get out so I don't you know it is not the car itself is not made for a um, taller person yes there's a lot of headroom um, but the the seats itself is not um, made for, for a taller guy or somebody that has wide shoulders I don't know which which way you guys want to take that So guys for the performance aspect uh, there's only two things I like uh, one is for the 2017 the horsepower has been up again to 565 it's supposed to be 565 I don't know uh, every hand is hand built uh, this is who built mine so it might be 600 as we know Nismo has about 600 as well so 30 horsepower less than the Nismo and for a price of about seventy thousand dollars less so i really like that aspect um, another aspect i like about the performance is the exhaust system guys and this was a this was actually brought as the same thing um, it was brought from the nismo so this is the titanium exhaust that was on the i guess the 2015 nismo and they brought it to the 2017 premium edition so it is uh, the exhaust itself sounds a lot nicer